My next guest is the delightful and talented Josh Stone. Oh, look at the beautiful young Josh Stone. Hey, Josh, how are you? Good to see you. Before you come out there, Josh, can I check? Did you, you, I, I read this, I don't know if it's true. You turned down, they asked you to be a judge on the talent show, the BBC Channel show, The Voice, and you turned Who it down. Who told you that? But is it true? Did you do that? Yeah, but only a little bit. You know, it's just one of those things. Can you do this? No. Okay. But that's good, because that, <laughs> that shows you were a good judge after all, just to turn that down. <laughs> Josh Stone, ladies and gentlemen, there she is. She's on the show. I'm a big fan. Something going on in the green room here, which we've organised for you, because I read that you were you were hoping to raise some some animals, some baby chicks, some ducks. Oh, some ducks, yeah. Oh, it's really sad, actually. Oh, so what happened? Um, well, the lady that called me from your show asked me like, what's your favourite gift that you've ever been given? And it was my friend Bonnie gave me some eggs for my birthday, and I was like, this is not a very good present, Bonnie. <laughs> Bought me some eggs, and she goes, no, 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 there's little ducks in there and you put them in the incubator and they'll just hatch and then they'll believe that you're their mummy Wow! if so you're there and so I was living in um, a cottage where you had to put the pound in the meter and turn it wow. um, and I was with this guy at the time and he forgot to put the pound in when I was on tour oh. and they died so he oh no I know it's a horrible story why did you bring it up well, because it's a, it's a fun Saturday <laughs> night show. Who doesn't like hearing about ducks that die? <laughs> it was horrible. OK. Well, no, but it was here, the loveliest we're, gift. We're, well, here's the reason why. OK, yeah. I knew it was semi-tragic. So we got some duck eggs for you, and we have them there in the green room, ready to go. Look, I know, duck I eggs, see them, and, and we have, hatch. and we've been told that with the heat we put it on now, the heat in the studio, they should hatch this evening during the show. Do you really think so? Yes. And so Seriously? while while you're not there, I'm going to ask Jason and Justin. It's your responsibility. You can't let it go off. To make sure those eggs hatch. Uh, okay. Okay. So just warm them up. And, it, and if that means one of you has to sit on them, so be it. Yeah. <laughs> Got it. Could you imagine if they did? It'd be so. They, nice. Well, uh, that's what we're hoping. We're hoping that we will have uh, live Could ducklings on the show this evening. Then we'd all be parents and together. That's the most modern family in the world. <laughs> <laughs> one girl, two guys, four ducklings. <laughs> Welcome back to the show, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get my next guest out. She sold 13 million albums, making her either one of our top soul singers or the best checkout girl HMV ever had. <laughs> She's the amazing Josh Stone. Come and sit down. Come and have a seat. <laughs> Now, I haven't seen you perform live for a long while, uh, you, but you're still gigging, you're still doing live performances? I do, yeah, all the time, okay. every where, now and then. Where would be the uh, most interesting place you performed recently? Um, well, my mum's club in Devon. Okay. I play there every now and then. Um, okay. It's called Mama Stones, and it's really tiny, so I played there the other day with Jeff Beck, which was great. Oh, that would be fun. Yeah, that was really cool. It's just like 200 capacity, so it's like quite intimate. And, and you played, did you play a festival in China? You played a music festival in China? I didn't, and I that must did. have been fairly recently, because I didn't think they yeah. were open to that kind of thing yet. It was a bit mad, actually. I think it was one of their first festivals. It was in Beijing. I don't think they know how to do a festival quite yet. Well, they're, f <laughs> they're fairly new to it, I think. Yeah, it, they are new to it. They had, um, I was the last act, so I guess they decided that it was time that everybody should leave, because it's the last act okay. and they had the military and there must have been like 200 of them maybe more and they were lining all of the audience so they were right in front of me like right up against each other and then they were all the way around the edge and they were slowly pushing all the people out so <coughs> pushing my audience away while you were still and I'm there like hang on i'm sure someone asked me to come play a gig here don't <laughs> Let them stay, and they were just slowly pushing them out. It's really weird. Like, oh. I suppose it means you don't have to worry about whether you're going to do an encore or not, because there's, yeah. there's oh, no I one know. left. Thank God for that. Uh, and South America, you have a lot of fans there, I believe. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're a bit mad. They throw things onto the stage and such. So uh, you've got the South Americans throwing things at you, yeah. and you've got the Chinese forcing people to leave Earth. Yeah. <laughs> Which, co which countries do you feel most welcome in? It's going in? great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, shall we see how the duck eggs are doing? Because they just told me there might be some activity. OK, mm. why, how do you know they're going to hatch on, hold today? Hold on, There's three there. There were four earlier. Are you going to...? What's the... Good... <gasps> oh, no, ja no, Jason. Jason! Jason. <laughs> Justin, you're meant to be keeping an eye on him. 
surely you could have stopped I, 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 him. Apparently, he's the tougher version of me. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> Do anything. Okay. Well, we've got three left. Let's well, that was a cruel cool joke. I, uh, Are the others going to hatch? Well, I don't know. We might eat them. Gonna make uh, me cry. <laughs> Josh has got a new single. She's not performing this evening, unfortunately, but she's got a new single from her album from the Soul Sessions. It was album yeah, two. Yeah, it's the Soul it? Sessions too. So, yeah. ten years ago, I, I guess, started, and um, I made an album full of covers. That was the first record that I guess anyone heard, and then the chap I made that with came to me and said, "Do you want to do another one?" So I did, and that's that, really. Yeah, and some yeah. great... Not your own material. I mean, most of this is no, kind of No, it's all like covers. It's all old soul records, yeah. like, kind of... Some of them are quite obscure, and some of them are well-known. But, but stuff you love, I guess. Yeah. Okay. But the single is Womack and Womack, and people would, yeah. people would know that one. Teardrops. So. It was a beautiful Teardrops, song. This yeah. is a little taste of Joss doing Teardrops. Enjoy this. That's a lovely song and a beautiful version. Yeah, it's a good song. Uh, could I get you to sing a little bit before you go? I love hearing your voice, yeah. and it's so nice. Could we get... <laughs> I know we don't have the band, we don't want a whole number, no. of but maybe, okay. uh, maybe an oldie. What's well, uh... well, I was thinking the first song that I ever really sang was Natural Woman, which is a song I sang for Aretha. Let's hear a little bit then. So, yeah, I had to uh, sing this song, okay. and I forgot the first words, but I think I remember them now. Looking out on the morning rain, I used to feel so uninspired. And then I knew I had to face another day. Lord, it made me feel so tired. Before the day I met you, life was so unkind. You're the key to my peace of mind. Cause you made me feel, yes you, you make me feel. Make me feel like a natural woman. Mm. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> that was incredible, wasn't that? Thank I you. had the shivers going on. Go. Relax for a second, I'm because saying. I believe <laughs> I believe that singing didn't just uh, make us all feel good. I think it's had an effect on the duck eggs. Let's see what's going on. Oh what's happened God, out what there? Are you doing Let's see what we. <laughs> oh my! Oh, you got me. Really well, that's the power of song. What's going on there? Wow! <laughs> Look at that. How did that even happen? I don't know what. <laughs> Guys, bring them out. Why don't you bring them out? Let's. Would you like to meet the kittens? Let's kittens? have them out. Let's yeah. bring the kittens out. Okay. But you it's a long way. It's a. It's a <laughs> What's he got? That one doesn't oh, want to. That is the cutest. It doesn't want to leave its egg. Oh, wow. come on! Here's it. Oh. I've got him. Terrified of dropping him. <laughs> Look at that. Sweet. That I think oh with the egg. I think the image of Justin carrying a kitten will make lots of women's ovaries explode. Yes. <laughs> That's just too much for people. Oh. My work is done here. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Turn me back. Well, since I've done Tom, join us. Okay. Oh my god, this is the best show ever. Look at that. How sweet are they? Oh my god. <laughs> And you know, uh, we are going to give you one to take home. Yay! Yeah. I'm it's 150 pounds. <laughs> but. <laughs> did you hear him? He's talking. Look at that one. This mate. Oh, oh. listen, did you hear that? <gasps> <gasps> Seriously. You know why? Because. You know why? Because they want to be with me. That's what it is. <laughs> Come in. Hello. Hello. Oh, my God. This What's is going the on? cutest thing. What's going on? Oh, oh, hello. I'll be honest with you. What should we call them? I'm more of a dog person. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. Should we call them Jonathan? No, we don't give them the Justin, skanky name Jason. like Jonathan. <laughs> uh, OK, oh, so... Oh, don't I'm going to keep the voice down, but we're going to go to a break, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. We're going to enjoy our kittens. Yeah. You cuddle up to whatever you've got at home. Uh, <laughs> join us after the break. I'll be chatting to Mr Justin Timberlake, so don't Mr. go away. Jim.